You too, have you been studying JavaScript for a couple months now? To the point that you feel like you have a strong enough foundation to get into a framework. That there's just so many frameworks out there, you don't know which one to choose, which one's the right one for you. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this today after the intro. First of all, I want to thank you guys for even stopping by to watch this video today. I am truly humbled by even the fact that you're willing to use your time to watch me talk about code. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe below to get more videos like this and even like the button at the end of the video if you enjoy the content. So let's go ahead, let's talk about JavaScript. JavaScript. Let's go ahead and talk about JavaScript frameworks right now. Now, if you're anything like me a couple months ago, you probably be pulling out your hair right now. Because a couple months ago, actually within yeah, just the last few months, I've been diving into JavaScript more than ever. I mean, as a, someone who got hired as a junior developer at my first company and I'm still there, the first framework that I ever worked with or library was jQuery. But within the last couple of years, a lot of companies nowadays don't even use it. A lot of companies now are looking for frameworks to use and incorporate into their system. But the problem then is as you, the person and like myself, as someone who's trying to get into the industry, trying to get this niche of coding or JavaScript frameworks, the question of the day is, out of all the JavaScript frameworks in the world, which one should I choose? Now please note that there are a lot of frameworks out there. The frameworks I'm going to really focus on are the main frameworks that are used literally throughout the entire world and these are the most popular ones that are used today. Now there are a lot of things with these frameworks that I could touch and not touch but my main goal is to touch the main points to help you choose and decide which one you want to do and why you should choose a specific framework and even what I want to use today. Let's go ahead and get into this right now. Now please note that there are a lot of JavaScript frameworks out there right now. Let me go ahead and read a list to you right now. So I have my MacBook Pro right here. So I have my MacBook Pro and let me go ahead and read this list for you and just check this out. There are a lot. Eurelia, there's Elm, Inferno, Polymer, Preact, not React, but Preact with a P, ReasonML, Svelte, I've never even heard of that. Radon, Vera, and whatever, and there's probably even a lot more. <laughs> okay, there's a lot. There are a lot of frameworks out there. The ones I want to focus on are the most used frameworks out there today. I want to touch on these main three frameworks because these are the three frameworks that offer the most opportunities in the job market to help you get a job in the industry today. So let's go ahead and touch on these right now. Now, one thing I want you guys to know is how popular each framework is. Now, the, the biggest three frameworks, as I already said, are React, there is Angular, JS, and there is Vue. The most popular framework out there right now today is React. I mean, for example, just within January 7 of 2018, React had a total of 120,000 downloads. That's insane, just within that month alone, okay? Angular within itself had a total of 40, around 40,000 downloads, and Vue had a total of 20,000 downloads. Now, this is it we found in the year, this is every month. So what we can see right now, we can see that React is by far ahead of the game. But what I think is that what's most apparent is that as of now, as it is what, what are we? We're in April right now, April 2018, Vue is actually catching up, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about React. One thing you note is that React was created by a Facebook engineer. It was created in 2013, and the creator of React, Jordan Walk, who was an engineer at Facebook. Cool. Uh, welcome to Facebook. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, I'm Tom Okino. This is Jordan Walk. And today we're going to talk a little bit about a JavaScript framework we built uh, at Facebook called React. The whole purpose of this framework, or the reason that it came about, is because there's a lot of internal discussion in various, you know, various teams and everywhere else about how should we structure JavaScript applications? And more specifically, how should we structure JavaScript applications that run you know, in a web browser? And so pretty much the reason he made React is this. This is what he said. React within itself, React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, right? As opposed to a full framework like Angular is what we're actually trying to implement in my company right now, which is kind of a pain in the butt to be quite honest. Um, so really what React is really made to do is help build the UI UX when it comes to building web apps. And that is the main purpose of React, which is why it's so popular. Because what React has been able to do is React has made building front-end apps like seem so seamless and not just that the biggest part which I love about react which is what I'm learning right now is the fact that with react 
you're able to make a change to something within the page or website with just a few lines of JavaScript. Compared to when you have to manually do it with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, where you have to literally go into the CSS file and go do something with the HTML file and change the code around, maybe change a class or an ID. But what React does is React simplifies that with a few lines of JavaScript. In result, because of this, the fact that React has made it so easy to build up a front end UI interface has Honestly is the reason that it caused this framework to blow up within the industry today. Okay, so now what I want to go into right now um, I want to go ahead and go into the pros and the cons of react pros react. It is hugely popular There are much more jobs for react than other niches within the industry for front-end developers today like for example, it is very popular in the job market, which is big, right? Number one, which is why you want to get into React. Secondly, there's a lot of training resources, uh, third party places you can go to to actually look into the documentation. There's a lot of things on Stack Overflow that you can actually ask for help on things to help you get the things you need to get done, which is extremely important because if this is your first time learning a framework, you want to make sure that you look into something where there's a lot of great documentation online and you're able to find the help you need as soon as possible to help you get your job done, which is why we get paid a lot to do what we do, right? The thing about React as well is that it's extremely versatile. For example, you can use React to make web-based applications on a desktop, things that look good on mobile, right? Um, not even just that though, when I say mobile, I mean, you could use React on Android and even things with iOS devices, which is what makes it so popular. The fact that a front-end developer, a web developer, could utilize his JavaScript skills by learning React to make apps for iOS devices and mobile devices, like Android devices, makes that developer very dangerous and even saves the company a lot of money, which is why we are so in demand right now, right? Last but not least, one of the things that make React so popular is the fact that there is a very strong support with Facebook. I mean, the fact that Facebook is continuously working on it, making sure that the app is just working flawlessly and they're making updates to it to make sure that this React is up to date with bugs or anything that needs to be done. All right, let's go to the next one. Next. Angular. Now, please note that Angular is a successor to AngularJS. It is a full featured, opinionated framework that provides defaults for data fetching, things like uh, state management and a build tool chain. Perhaps I think the most notable feature that comes with AngularJS is its use of TypeScript. This has made the framework well suited from those coming from object oriented languages like um, Java, I believe C Sharp as well. And TypeScript takes inspiration from those languages. I'm, I'm just realized that I'm actually going pretty long in this video. Uh, so let's go into the pros and cons of Angular really quick. So pros, it is a full featured framework. TypeScript provides a familiar language with, for those who've already learned Java, who those who have learned C Sharp or those kind of object oriented languages, which makes working with it fairly easy, especially if you come from a computer science background. And why is this great? Because a lot of people who are doing software engineering, who got a computer science degree, you don't learn, they don't learn a lot of web development. Web development is something you kind of teach yourself. So if you're coming from that kind of background, diving into this industry will be even that much more easier with Angular. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Please, please, please. Okay, next. Uh, what else? It also has a very strong background support from Google as well. Cons of using Angular. I think one of the big things uh, that kind of turned me off with using Angular, as you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, if not, make sure you subscribe below. Angular has been very difficult to learn, meaning because there's a very tall or steep learning curve when it comes to learning Angular, and it's something that you can't just learn quickly. I mean, I'm not saying all, any, a framework is easy to be learned, but Angular has been very dif difficult to work with, especially if we're trying to integrate it into my company. I also think that TypeScript, what it does is that it honestly makes it even that much more difficult for others like people like myself be like a barrier for those trying to adopt this framework into the system with themselves because it's just difficult to learn especially if you're not too familiar with object-oriented programming there's probably a lot more things but I don't want this video to go too long so let's go into the next topic okay next one next topic next framework Vue.js um, I have to admit, Vue.js is something I was never really interested in because it seemed fairly new. It kind of seems like Vue.js is like the new kids to the block. But after doing some research, I didn't realize this, but Vue.js has been around since 2013. So it's been in the game for about how long? Five years. That's a long time. Vue.js isn't really backed up by a big company like Google or Facebook. But what it does is it solely relies on either just individual programmers, developers, or people who donate um, to their the people who created Vue.js 
to make sure that there are continuous updates to the program, uh, to the framework, making sure that the people who are working on this are supported so that Vue.js can continuously get updated, which can kind of be honestly a downfall to it because then if they don't get enough support that they need, thinking like, can I trust this framework if it's not fully backed up by a major corporation? Even though, okay, even though it's not backed up by people like Facebook or Google, to be honest, what makes Vue.js that much more amazing is the fact that out of Angular and out of React, the most easiest framework that people can learn with the easiest learning curve is actually Vue.js. Angular, I think, is, is the most difficult framework to learn. React, second, if we're going in order. But Vue.js, from what I've heard from people who actually work with it, Vue.js is actually quite easy to learn. The fact that Vue.js has been very easy to learn is honestly a re the result of why Vue.js is the third most popular framework in the industry today when it comes to front-end frameworks. Again, I'm not talking about back-end frameworks, Node.js, way to go. <laughs> and I think one notable feature about Vue.js, which is something I probably would like, and for someone like me, the fact that Vue.js can kind of be used as a replacement of jQuery is simply amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the pros and the cons of Vue.js. Number one, uh, Vue.js is extremely easy to learn. There's very good documentation, which is extremely important especially for newer programmers like yourself or myself. Thirdly, it is surging in popularity. I think it's actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I know, from what I've seen from the job market, Vue.js is actually slowly catching up to Angular, if not surpass it by now. And in regards to performance wise, Vue.js actually beats React and Angular, although React is still the most popular one, simply because of also the fact that you can build amazing front end pages with React and you can use it with anything. Despite Vue.js being simply amazing and something that a lot of people should consider using, I think the biggest con when it comes to Vue.js is the fact that the job market for this very small compared to the other frameworks, which is why React is so popular because everyone wants to use it. But even though Vue.js is like pretty easy and a very strong framework to use and I know it's not supported by people like Facebook or Google. One of the downfalls to Vue.js is the fact that it's not as popular as React. So job market is strong, but just not as strong as Angular and React. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts, my opinions on the three frameworks. Which framework are you guys working with? Which framework are you considering learning? Let me know in the comment below if you guys like this video or want more videos like this. Make sure you like this video as soon as possible to make sure that I could do more things like this for you guys. Um, I know there are a lot of things I could have touched on, but see you guys later. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace.